Mochi Japanese, bing mochi is Japanese rice cake made of mochigome, a short grain japonica glutinous rice. The rice is pounded into paste and molded into the desired shape. In Japan it is traditionally made in a ceremony called mochitsuki. While also eaten year-round, mochi is a traditional food for the Japanese New Year and is commonly sold and eaten during that time. Mochi is a multi-component food consisting of polysaccharides, lipids, protein and water. Mochi has a heterogeneous structure of amylopectin gel, starch grains, and air bubbles. This rice is characterized by its low level of amylose starch, and is derived from short or medium grain japonica rices. The protein concentration of the rice is higher than that of normal short grain rice, and the two also differ in amylose content. In mochi rice, the amylose content is negligible, and the amylopectin level is high, which results in its gel-like consistency. History and origin The exact origin of mochi has yet to be confirmed. The first mochitsuki ceremony occurred after the kami are said to have descended to earth, which was following the birth of rice cultivation in Yamato during the Yayoi period 300 BC to 300 AD. Red rice was the original variation used in the production of mochi. At this time, it was eaten exclusively by the emperor and nobles due to its status as an omen of good fortune. During the Japanese Heian period mochi was used as a food for the gods and in religious offerings in Shinto rituals performed by aristocrats. In addition to general good fortune, mochi was also known as a talisman for happy marriages. The first recorded accounts of mochi being used as a part of New Year's festivities are from the Japanese Heian period. The nobles of the imperial court believed that long strands of freshly made mochi symbolized long life and well-being, while dried mochi helped strengthen one's teeth. Accounts of it can also be found in the oldest Japanese novel, The Tale of Genji. Mochi continues to be one of the traditional foods eaten around Japanese New Year, as it is sold and consumed in abundance around this time. A special type, called kagami mochi, mirror mochi is placed on family altars on December 28 each year. Kagami mochi is composed of two spheres of mochi stacked on top of one another, topped with an orange dede. On this occasion, which was originally practiced by the samurai, the round rice cakes of kagami mochi would be broken, thus symbolizing the mirror's opening and the ending of the New Year's celebrations. Seasonal specialities Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> New Year Kagami mochi is a New Year decoration, which is traditionally broken and eaten in a ritual called kagami baraki mirror opening. Zoni is a soup containing rice cakes. It is also eaten on New Year's Day. In addition to mochi, zoni contains vegetables such as taro, carrot, honeywort, and red and white colored kamaboko. Kinako mochi is traditionally made on New Year's Day as an emblem of luck. This style of mochi preparation involves roasting the mochi over a fire or stove, then dipping it into water, finally coating it with sugar and kinako soy flour. Spring time. The cherry blossom sakura, is a symbol of Japan and signifies the onset of full-fledged spring. Sakura mochi is a pink-colored mochi surrounding sweet anko and wrapped in an edible, salted cherry leaf. This dish is usually made during the spring. <laughs> Children's Day Children's Day is celebrated in Japan on May 5. On this day, the Japanese promote the happiness and well-being of children. Kasiwa mochi and chamaki are made especially for this celebration. Kasiwa mochi is white mochi surrounding a sweet anko filling with a kasiwa oak leaf wrapped around it. Chamaki is a variation of a dango wrapped in bamboo leaves. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Girls' Day. Hishi mochi is a ceremonial dessert presented as a ritual offering on the days leading up to Hinamatsuri or Girls' Day in Japan. Hishi mochi is rhomboid-shaped mochi with layers of red, green, and white. 
The three layers are colored with jasmine flowers, water caltrop, and mugwort. Topic: <laughs> Traditional preparation. Traditionally, mochi was made from whole rice, in a labor-intensive process. The traditional mochi pounding ceremony in Japan is mochitsuki. Polished glutinous rice is soaked overnight and steamed. The steamed rice is mashed and pounded with wooden mallets kind in a traditional mortar The work involves two people, one pounding and the other turning and wetting the substance the mochi. They must keep a steady rhythm or they may accidentally injure each other with the heavy kind. The sticky mass can be eaten immediately or formed into various shapes, usually a sphere or cube. Topic: <inaudible> Modern preparation. Mochi is prepared from a flour of sweet rice, machiko. The flour is mixed with water and cooked on a stovetop or in the microwave until it forms a sticky, opaque white mass. This process is performed twice, and the mass is stirred in between until it becomes malleable and slightly transparent. With modern equipment, mochi can be made at home, with the technology automating the laborious dough pounding. Household mochi appliances provide a suitable space where the environment of the dough can be controlled. The assembly line sections in mochi production control these aspects. Viscoelasticity or the product's chewiness by selecting specific species of rice. Consistency of the dough during automated pounding process Size Flavorings and fillings Varieties of glutinous and waxy rice are produced as major raw material for mochi. The rice is chosen for tensile strength and compressibility. One study found that in Kantamachi rice 172 and BC3, amylopectin distribution varied and affected the hardness of mochi. Kantamachi rice produced harder, brittle, grainy textures, all undesirable qualities except for ease of cutting. For mass production, the rice variety should be chewy, but easy to separate. Generally, two types of machines are used for mochi production in an assembly line. One machine prepares the dough, while the other forms the dough into consistent shapes, unfilled or with filling. The first type of machine controls the temperature at which the rice gelatinizes. One study found that a temperature of 62 degrees Celsius corresponds to the gelatinization of mochi. When the temperature fell below 62 degrees Celsius, the hardening was too slow. It was concluded that a processing temperature below 62 degrees Celsius was unsuitable for dough preparation. Topic: <laughs> Processing Mochi is a variation of a low-calorie, low-fat rice cake. The cake has two essential raw materials, rice and water. Sticky rice, also called sweet rice, Oriza sativa var. Glutinosa, glutinous sticky rice, glutinous rice, waxy rice, botan rice, biroin chal, mochi rice, pearl rice, and pulet, whether brown or white, is best for mochi making, as long grain varieties will not expand perfectly. Water is essential in the early stages of preparation. Other additives such as salt and other seasonings and flavorings are important in terms of nutritive value and taste. However, additives can cause breakage of the mass, so should not be added to the rice before the cake is formed. The cake must be steamed rather than boiled until it gains a smooth and elastic texture. The balls of rice are then flattened, cut into pieces, or shaped into rounds. The machines for mass production are a hugely expensive investment, and the product should have the proper moisture to appeal to consumers. The manufacturing process of mochi is The first step is to sprout the rice, which can be done using the soaking method or the humidity method. The soaking method involves soaking rice in water until the desired moisture level is attained, for example, 10 kg of rice are soaked for 6 to 12 hours. The final soaked rice volume should be 50% greater than the dried rice. In the humidity method, the rice is circulated in a device similar to a grain dryer. The device blows warm and moist air onto the rice. After sprouting, the rice should be dried. For this step, a mechanical dryer or heated environment is essential. Usually, a temperature of 38 to 82 degrees Celsius is used. Drying time depends on factors such as rice quantity, chemical composition, and the temperature of the environment. The next step is roasting. 
The soaked and dried rice is roasted with an oven or a mechanical roaster. The rice is then transferred on long trays about 1.3 cm deep to a 90 to 200 degrees Celsius environment for 30 to 60 minutes or until the rice become light brown. After being roasted, the rice is placed in an environment below 27 degrees Celsius to cool. The cooled rice is then ground by a roller mill, burr mill, attrition mill, disintegrator mill, or hammer mill. The rice flour is then placed in the rice cake machine. Each manufacturer has about 80 to 90 machines, and each machine has 1 to 3 cooking heads which make one mochi cake every 15 seconds. The rice flour should be soaked to a liquid. Different kinds of mochi are soaked in different types of liquids such as water, milk, broth, juice, gravy, or plant milk such as soy and almond. The soaked rice flour is then placed into the hoppers which are located above the machines. The soaked rice flour is removed from hoppers to the iron molds or cooking head in the machines by gravity force. The molds are then heated. While the molds are heated, the plates are opened and the molds exposed to a vacuum a combination of heat and pressure. After 8 to 10 seconds, the lids of the molds expand so that the pressure increases. At the end of the process of the combination of pressure and temperature, the cake has completely expanded into the molds. Once the desired expansion of molds is acquired, the iron molds, cooking heads open, allowing the rice cakes to fall softly onto the conveyor belt. The belt carries the cakes around spraying heads, where different flavors and additives are sprayed onto them. The flavors determine the different types of mochi. However, natural flavors are usually preferred salt, strawberry, mango, blueberry, apple cinnamon, caramel, almond, salsa, nacho, taco, and tamari seaweed. After the addition of different flavors, the cakes are carried to the dryer tunnel by the belt. In the dryer tunnel, the moisture of the rice cakes is reduced. At the last stage, the belt moves the finished mochi to the bagging area. In the bagging area, the cakes are inspected carefully for any breakage or damage, then stacked, packaged, sealed, and labeled. Topic. Preservation The best preservation for mochi is refrigeration for a short storage period. For preserving larger batches over an extended time, freezing is recommended. The best method for freezing involves wrapping each mochi cake tightly in a sealed plastic bag. Although mochi can be kept in a freezer for almost one year, the frozen mochi may lose flavor and softness or get freezer burned. Ingredients <inaudible> 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 Mochi is relatively simple to make, as only a few ingredients are needed for plain, natural mochi. The main ingredient is either shiratamako or machiko, Japanese sweet glutinous rice flours. Both shiratamako and machiko are made from mochigom, a type of Japanese glutinous short grain rice. The difference between shiratamako and machiko comes from texture and processing methods. Shiratamako flour has been more refined and is a finer flour with a smoother, more elastic feel. Machiko is less refined and has a doughier texture. Other ingredients may include water, sugar, and cornstarch to prevent sticking. Other ingredients can be added to create different variations. Nutrition The caloric content of a matchbox-sized piece of mochi is comparable to that of a bowl of rice. Japanese farmers were known to consume it during the winter to increase their stamina, while the Japanese samurai took mochi on their expeditions, as it was easy to carry and prepare. Mochi is gluten and cholesterol free, as it is made from rice flour. A single serving of 44.0 grams has 96 calories kilocalories, 1.0 grams of fat, but no trans or saturated fat, 1.0 milligrams of sodium, 22.0 grams of carbohydrates, 0 grams of dietary fiber, 6.0 grams of sugar, and 1.0 grams of protein. Topic. Chemistry and structural composition of glutinous rice Amylose and amylopectin are both components of starch and polysaccharides made from D-glucose units. The big difference between the two is that amylose is linear because it only has alpha-LPHA1, four glycosidic bonds. 
Amylopectin, though, is a branched polysaccharide because it has alpha LPHA1, four glycosidic bonds with occasional alpha LPHA1, six glycosidic bonds around every 22 D glucose units. Glutinous rice is nearly 100% composed of amylopectin and almost completely lacks its counterpart, amylose, in its starch granules. A nonglutinous rice grain contains amylose at about 10-30% weight by weight and amylopectin at about 70-90% weight by weight. Glutinous or waxy type of starches occur in maize, sorghum, wheat, and rice. An interesting characteristic of glutinous rice is that it stains red when iodine is added, whereas nonglutinous rice stains blue. This phenomenon occurs when iodine is mixed with iodide to form triiodide and pentaiodide. Pentaiodide intercalates between the starch molecules and stains amylose and amylopectin blue and red, respectively. The gelation and viscous texture of glutinous rice is due to amylopectin being more hygroscopic than amylose, thus water enters the starch granule, causing it to swell, while the amylose leaves the starch granule and becomes part of a colloidal solution. In other words, the higher the amylopectin content, the higher the swelling of the starch granule, though the amylopectin content plays a major role in the defined characteristic of viscosity in glutinous rice. Factors such as heat also play a very important role in the swelling, since it enhances the uptake of water into the starch granule significantly. The swelling increases at about 10% in volume per 10 degrees Celsius temperature increase. The high amylopectin content of waxy or glutinous starches is genetically controlled by the waxy or wax gene. Its quality of greater viscosity and gelation is dependent on the distribution of the amylopectin unit chains. Grains that have this gene are considered mutants, which explains why most of them are selectively bred to create a grain that is close to having or has a 0% amylose content. The table below summarizes the amylose and amylopectin content of different starches, waxy and nonwaxy. The soaking of the glutinous rice is an elemental step in the preparation of mochi, either traditionally or industrially. During this process, glutinous rice decreases in protein content as it is soaked in water. The chemicals that make up the flavor of plain or natural mochi are ethyl ester acetic acid, ethanol, 2 butanol, 2 methyl 1 propanol, 1 butanol, 3 methyl 1 butanol, 1 pentanol, and propane acid. Mochi is usually composed solely of glutinous rice, however, some variations may include the additions of salt, spices, and flavorings such as cinnamon. Cinnamaldehyde. Food additives such as sucrose, sorbitol, or glycerol may be added to increase viscosity and therefore increase gelatinization. Additives that slow down retrogradation are not usually added since amylopectin has a very stable shelf life due to its high amylopectin content. Viscoelasticity Mochi's characteristic chewiness is due to the polysaccharides in it. The viscosity and elasticity that account for this chewiness are affected by many factors such as the starch concentration, configuration of the swollen starch granules, the conditions of heating, temperature, heating period and rate of heating, as well as the junction zones that interconnect each polymer chain. The more junction zones the substance has, the stronger the cohesiveness of the gel, thereby forming a more solid-like material. The perfect mochi has the perfect balance between viscosity and elasticity so that it is not inextensible and fragile but rather extensible yet firm. Many tests have been conducted on the factors that affect the viscoelastic properties of mochi. As puncture tests show, samples with a higher solid polysaccharide content show an increased resistance and thereby a stronger and tougher gel. This increased resistance to the puncture test indicate that an increase in solute concentration leads to a more rigid and harder gel with an increased cohesiveness, internal binding, elasticity and springiness which means a decrease in material flow or an increase in viscosity. These results can also be brought about by an increase in heating time. Sensory assessments of the hardness, stickiness and elasticity of mochi and their relationship with solute concentration and heating time were performed. Similar to the puncture test results, sensory tests determine that hardness and elasticity increase with increasing time of heating and solid concentration. However, stickiness of the samples increase with increasing time of heating and solid concentration until a certain level, above which the reverse is observed. These relationships are important because too hard or elastic a mochi is undesirable, as is one that is too sticky and will stick to walls of the container.
Topic: <laughs> Health hazards. Suffocation deaths are caused by mochi every year in Japan, especially among elderly people. According to the Tokyo Fire Department which responds to choking cases, mochi sends more than 100 people to the hospital every year in Tokyo alone. Between 2006 and 2009, 18 people died from choking on mochi in the Japanese capital, according to city's fire department. In 2011, Japanese media reported eight mochi-related deaths in Tokyo in January. Every year, Japanese authorities warn people to cut mochi into small pieces before eating it. The Tokyo Fire Department even has a website offering tips on how to help someone choking on mochi. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Popular uses. Though mochi is often consumed alone as a major component of a main meal, it is often used as an ingredient in many other prepared foods. Topic: <inaudible> Confectionery Many types of traditional wagashi and mochigashi Japanese traditional sweets are made with mochi. For example, daifuku is a soft round mochi stuffed with sweet filling, such as sweetened red bean paste or white bean paste Ichigo daifuku is a version containing a whole strawberry inside. Kusa mochi is a green variety of mochi flavored with yomogi mugwort. When daifuku is made with kusa mochi, it is called yomogi daifuku. Topic: <inaudible> Ice cream. Small balls of ice cream are wrapped inside a mochi covering to make mochi ice cream. In Japan, this is manufactured by the conglomerate lot under the name Yukimi daifuku, snow viewing daifuku. Topic. Soup Oshiruko or Ozenzai is a sweet azuki bean soup with pieces of mochi. In winter, Japanese people often eat it to warm themselves. Chikara udon meaning power udon, is a dish consisting of udon noodles in soup topped with toasted mochi. Zoni. See New Year specialties below. Other variations Dango is a Japanese dumpling made from machiko rice flour. Warabi mochi is not true mochi, but a jelly-like confection made from bracken starch and covered or dipped in kinako soybean flour with sugar. It is popular in the summertime, and often sold from trucks, not unlike ice cream trucks in western countries. Manju, mantu manju is not a true mochi, but a popular traditional Japanese confection. Made of flour, rice powder, buckwheat, and red bean paste. Yokan yang jeng is a thick, jelly-like dessert. It is made of red bean paste, agar, and sugar. There are two main types, neri yokan and mizu yokan. More recently, waffles, a waffle made from a toasted mochi, has been introduced. It is made in a specialized machine as well as a traditional waffle iron. Topic: Variations outside Japan. In Taiwan, a traditional hakka and hoklo pounded rice cake was called tauchi (Chinese: dosi pei hog tau kai) and came in various styles and forms, just like in Japan. Traditional Hakka Tauchi is served as glutinous rice dough, covered with peanut or sesame powder. Not until the Japanese era was Japanese-style mochi introduced and gained popularity. Nowadays, Taiwanese mochi often comes with bean paste fillings. In China, Tongyuan is made from glutinous rice flour mixed with a small amount of water to form balls and is then cooked and served in boiling water. Tongyuan is typically filled with black sesame paste or peanut paste and served in the water that it was boiled in. In Hong Kong and other Cantonese regions, the traditional lo mai kai Chinese, nuo mi si number no. 6 mai 5 c 4 is made of glutinous rice flour in the shape of a ball, with fillings such as crushed peanuts, coconut, red bean paste, and black sesame paste. It can come in a variety of modern flavors such as green tea, mango, taro, strawberry, and more. 
In Philippines, a traditional Filipino sweet snack similar to Japanese mochi is called tikoi Chinese, tian guo pei, hog, tea to the power of n koa. There is also another delicacy called espisol with a taste similar to Japanese kinako mochi, though made with roasted rice flour not kinako, roasted soy flour. In Korea, chapsol tteok Hangul, chapsaltug varieties are made of steamed glutinous rice or steamed glutinous rice flour. In Indonesia, Q mochi is usually filled with sweet bean paste and covered with sesame seeds. Q mochi comes from Sukabumi, West Java. In Malaysia, Kuih kochi is made from glutinous rice flour and filled with coconut filling and palm sugar. Another Chinese Malaysian's variant, Lo Mai Kai, is made with same ingredients but their fillings are filled with crushed peanuts. In Taiwan, a soft version similar to Daifuku is called Moachi Chinese, Ma Si Pei. H O G Moa Kai in Taiwanese Hokkien and Mashu Chinese Ma Shu Pinyin Ma Shu in Taiwanese Mandarin. In Hawaii, a dessert variety called butter mochi is made with butter, sugar, coconut, and other ingredients, then baked to make a sponge cake of sorts. Topic. See also. Arare. Hishi mochi Hanabira mochi Muchi Senbei, rice crackers Wiro Japanese rice Similar foods in other countries Chapsal tteok, Korean glutinous rice cakes Bonze Kochi